I'm going to show you um, a tutorial for how to connect uh, your project with the database. So first of all, what you have to do is you have to uh, download XAMPP because we are going to use XAMPP for this tutorial. Okay, uh, choose the latest uh, version. All right, so whatever OS that you are using right now. Okay. All right, so for me, I'm using MacBook, so I will download this one. Okay, so now it's uh, downloading. All right. Then you can go ahead and install the install XAMPP on your system. So, uh, XAMPP application, once you're done with the installation, okay so all right so this is how how it looks like because i'm using uh, mac os all right so you will have a different view if you're using window but it's the same thing all you have to do is you have to start running the mysql and the apache web server okay so we start the MySQL and then after that we will start the Apache web server Apache already running okay all right so and then after that you go to your web browser and then you type localhost slash php my admin it will bring you to the uh, localhost page all right so now you can start creating your database okay so first of all um, let's create uh, a new database okay what will I name this database um, uh, okay let's name it as tutorial tutorial okay and then create all right so once you go to this uh, tutorial database now you have tutorial database you can start creating table okay so now I am going to create one table okay when you when you are creating table you have to remember always use a plural name here okay for example I'm going to use like items all right if you use item it's not gonna work so you use items okay and then uh, we just click go all right so now we have to uh, insert the type of data that you want okay let's say we put ID ID okay ID integer okay uh, and then we make it as auto increment and then we make the ID as the uh, primary key and then we add another one name and then we use data type here as a text and then another one, let's say the quantity, quantity, integer. Okay, now let's save this one. Okay, so now you have the table. Okay, so you can start inserting the uh, data in here. Start uh, inserting some data into our table okay so id we don't have to put the value because it will be auto increment so let's say we have shoes okay the quantity of shoes let's say we have five shoes cool so if we go back to our uh, table here see 
it's already inserted the new data shoes quantity 5 the ID is 1 okay let's uh, insert more we have uh, jacket jacket we have 10 and then let's insert hijab Six, and then we have boots three I'm just inserting some data into the table that we just created earlier and then what else we have bag eight bag so if you go here, we have all the items that we inserted into our table. Okay, now we already have data in our database. So we are trying to connect with our project. Okay, if we go back to our notes here, okay, so we already uh, install java yes because we already have netbeans and then we just uh, install the database earlier xamp and then install the database driver set the database in credential and then create the database which 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 we already did so let's uh, start a new project okay um, no cancel start a new project java java application so let's say our project name is testing database okay all right click finish So, um, you have to, uh, before you start with the project, you have to import several, several classes, several into the, into our project. So here, you have to import all of this, driver manager, the driver, the connection, the statements, and the result set. Okay, first you have to import java.sql.connection and then import java.sql.driver.manager java and then import java.sql.resultSet and import java.sql.statement Okay so now, uh, to our uh, lecture note, all right? I already include uh, the detailed example, including the coding. Okay, it's, this is also the sample database. Okay, you can also follow this one uh, in order to create the table here. Okay, you can also follow this one. And then I also already include here uh, how to uh, do the connection, to set the connection, and then how to query data from the database and try to insert the example, okay, and then etc. how to update the data in the database. Okay, so if you follow this, all this uh, uh, code and steps, you will not have any problem you will 
easily uh, understand the flow of the uh, pro this for this uh, tutorial okay so I'm not gonna uh, show this one I'm just gonna show you how uh, roughly um, how we do the connection okay like uh, we did earlier we have to import import all the classes okay and then as I mentioned in my notes here you have to insert the database driver okay right here okay you go to the library okay so for myself I already include here okay if you go to library double right click on the library and then you add the library here you will see uh, the my SQL JDBC driver okay just uh, add it just add the library okay okay so for this tutorial I'm just gonna show you the simple code to test the database all right so this is how I, I set the connection okay all right so in this one I didn't do classes like in this example in this example uh, it shows the different classes such as the query data insert data classes update record data this one I'm just gonna do all this in main just to for you to know how to do the connection with the database okay so uh, you create the connection name all right and then the statement the results set it okay and then the address okay you can just copy this one the address and then this is the the database name okay like my database is tutorial so you put your database name here all right so once you um, already set all this and then now you can get you can start with the testing the connection okay first uh, you initiate the value of my con here the connection okay and then uh, you can try and test out your code if it's connected or not okay so let me put this all as a comment Alright, so once you already set the connection here, you, sh you would see a connection success. Okay, connection success. Okay, now let's try to select um, items from our database. Okay, let me uncomment this one. Alright, so now... Uh, what I did here is I select all uh, select all from the column name three item from column name okay so let's see what is printed oh now it's an error why is it an error oh okay sorry this one Okay, so it's showing here shoes, jacket, and scarf. Okay, let's go back to our database here. Okay, shoes, jacket, and scarf. So that means it's uh, correct. Okay, you can also update the record in your database. Okay, so let's uncomment this one. Okay. All right. So let's uncomment this one. Okay, let's change the uh, item in row, the third row, which is um, the scarf. Let's change it to hijab. Okay, change it to hijab. Okay, so when you, we run this code, it's supposed to update our database here to hijab. Okay, so now let's run okay oh all right 
So, okay, let's reload this. So you see the our third item here, uh, change from scarf to hijab. Okay, so if you refer to this uh, example, you can uh, follow it. Actually, you can query the data, insert data, and even delete data. Okay, so that's all for the tutorial. Um, I hope you can uh, follow this step by step and also do the uh, lab tutorial follow it step by step it will really help you with your with your hands-on test this coming uh, January 15 so that's all for this tutorial and good luck I will see you on I will see you during final exam but good luck for the uh, hands-on test we will give you about 15 hours, okay, all day until midnight to answer the questions. Alright, I will release the questions around 8 o'clock in the morning on Kalam. And then you will have time to complete uh, and then submit to, to Kalam uh, before midnight. Make sure you check the link. Make sure you submit to the correct section because we have 5 sections for this subject. Alright, so good luck and thank you.